So welcome back. How are you feeling? I feel good. Ready. When I hurry up and get uh, get this fight going. Yeah. The, so there was a delay a little bit in the fight. Can you talk to me a little bit about how that came about? I uh, tore my meniscus, so I had to uh, had to get surgery and get that that taken out and taken care of and just uh, push the fight back. Oh well, luckily for uh, for the UFC and, and Martian himself, they, you know, he accepted to move the fight back. So I appreciate that. And yeah, now we're here. Is a, a month enough? I don't know what that recovery is like. It seems like a quick turnaround. Oh, I could have. I, I was pushing it to make Anaheim, which meaning I could have. But uh, in my team, we wanted just to give us a, the best. Obviously, we waited to see if we could get on a show, which we, which we luckily we could. So thankful for that. Is there any disappointment that you're going to be fighting here without fans when you could have? But then there's the flip side of now you're the main event. So it's kind of a positive and a negative. Uh, look, at the end of the day, fight's a fight. But uh, I love the crowd. Everyone knows I love the crowd. But um, these Apex shows are pretty cool. I, I don't mind them. I, you know, kind of get in and out and then off to in and out. <laughs> <laughs> What's your in and out order? <laughs> whatever. At the moment, I'll take 10 of whatever. So uh, we got to wait till after. Can you talk to me a little bit about the matchup? What are you expecting? Uh, Marsh has been around for a long time. I've watched him for many years. Um, very experienced. I don't. I'm not going to be able to bring anything that he hasn't seen before, you know. But um, I know his job, his plan is to, to, you know, to try and drag me through the rounds, and, and then he'll try and, uh, you know, wear me down, I suppose. But um, this is the heavyweight division. And uh, I'm going to come out and I'm going to come hard and, and uh, try and get this job done. Do you anticipate it being a quick fight with him? Oh, look, in my head, I'd love every fight to be 10 seconds, but um, unfortunately, my coaches don't let me train for that long. So I've put in the work. Um, I've had a few injuries along the way. I've had a few injuries I've had to clean up. But um, my team around me at the moment, and, and, and you know, I've got all the old heads up, so they're, they're, they're really giving me some, some great advice, and I feel confident. Can you reveal any of that great advice they've given you? <laughs> I just listen. <laughs> if I go and do my own thing, it probably end up no good. So I just listen to them, and whatever they tell me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm falling in line. You're not going to pull a Justin Poirier and keep trying to go for that guillotine? <clears throat> Did you uh, see the fights? Uh, no, sorry. Okay, so you have no idea what it's <laughs> But yeah, guillotine sounds good. <laughs> Can you talk to me a little bit about potential pressure going into this fight? You're coming off some losses. Is, is there some pressure or, or does it feel like just any other fight for you? Oh, there's always pressure. Uh, but this is, it's no pressure I haven't seen before. Um, you know, I've been here before in my life and in fighting. But um, my preparation has been good, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm relying on that. <laughs> There's also some um, kind of a, a hold up in the heavyweight division right now with you know John Jones and Stipe and and all this Tom Aspinall. What, what do you what would you like to see happening at the top? Again, I don't really watch what's going on unless it kind of involves me. I don't really care. Uh, my my main focus right now is is is, is marching, and uh, f I'm been losing. So my main focus is to win, you know, and, and to to give myself every chance to win. And I feel like I've done that, and uh, I'm sick of training. To be honest, fuck, like I just want to punch on. <laughs> And uh, your fellow countryman, Tyson Pedro, just retired. I was wondering if you had any thoughts on that, on his career, or him as a fighter. Uh, yeah, that's my also, you know, so I, I'll support him in whatever he does. Uh, obviously, his decisions are his decisions, and he's made it for, for what he has to do. Uh, like I said a lot today, we're fathers before we are fighters, um, and he's got to feed his family, and, and whatever he has to do to do, I'll, I'll support him. Um, I spoke to your opponent. I asked if he would do a shoey with you after. He said if it's a clean shoe. So I wanted to let you know he, he would consider it, but he's very re reluctant. Well, the UFC shoes, are, they're new. So he, we can, we, I'd love to do one, of course. I, I, I respect all my opponents, you know. Once we get in there, we go to war. And then after, that's it. We can do whatever. Thank you.
Itai, thanks for taking the time. Just if you can just talk a little bit about, you know, just being in Vegas, you got that main event spot, you're on the poster, but what kind of tweaks or adjustments did you and the team have to do with this fight going from state to state and 15 to 25? Um, <clears throat> a, lot of, a lot of this camp has been, uh, well, since my last fight, I've had to do a lot of things uh, injury-wise. So uh, there is no excuse. I, I, don't, I don't like to make excuses. If I lose, I lose. But um, the last, my last fight, my last preparation really wasn't the best uh, due to injuries and stuff like that. And, but, you know, I, as fighters, we've got to rock up and go to work every day. So there's, there's no excuse. But um, I feel like my body is, uh, is much better. I've had to get those things cleaned up. And, yeah, man, it's been a long camp. <laughs> I'm over it. Man, well, that just makes it even more exciting to see you this weekend. How has the support been? Because lose or win, we know that you give it 100%, put your heart into it, and fans love you for that. How has the support been from fans, regardless of the outcome, that, that hold you down and like, you know what, it's going to be okay. It's going to be good. Well, my fans, uh, the, uh, that's why I'm so with them. I don't know. You know, they're, they're the people that keep me going. Um, as long as I, you know, I come out and I win or lose, as long as I know that I gave it my all and I go out and then have a crack. I think that's like you said, that's what my fans love of me. As long as I can keep doing that, you know, obviously I don't want to fucking keep losing, but <laughs> as long as I can keep doing that and, and keep making my fans proud, you know, that, that means everything to me. And I, I don't want to leave the cage. I got to go home to my son. I don't want to. I don't want to show him that you know you just give it half fast. I want to go in there and give it 100. percent Awesome, man, and great job for setting example for that young man. Uh, last for me, you're you take all the fights. You, you're gonna fight every weekend if you could. Another reason why people support you. But what does Marcin give you? What challenges are you ready to overcome, or what opportunities do you like? Man, this guy's really good at this. Let me test my. Ability. He gave me five rounds, <laughs> and my coaches didn't let me down. So, uh, and I know Marcin can fight those five rounds, and he can fight them hard, uh, which is something we've been preparing for. Uh, you know, I don't like going the rounds, but I, I've never gassed out. You know, I, I've uh, I, I, my my fitness is good. I feel. I feel good, but uh, to be honest, I want to get this party started. I want to get it over with, and that's that's the I'm coming out for head. Man, well, that, that sounded a bit weird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll end on this question: um, the meniscus. Thank you for disclosing that and, and helped you heal. Do you see this? Can you flip this around as a positive and be like, you know what, man? Maybe I needed to listen to my body and just kind of chill out for a little bit. Yeah, look. We're human. <laughs> we bleed the same as everyone else, you know, and we, our heads are the same as everyone else. It's, 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 everyone gets to see the glitz and the glamour of what we do, but this shit's hard, man. This sport is hard mentally, physically, hard on your family. You know, they got to cop a lot of the, 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 the shit end of things. But this is what we do. We're fighters. We rock up and we go to work. Well, can't wait to see it, and good luck on Saturday, my man. Cheers, bro. Just, I know the injury did keep you out for a little bit, and you know, in the years 21, 22, you were very, very active. Now that we know the injuries and just making sure your body's healthy, what's the perfect number of fights for you in a year? Is it maybe two fights, or what's what's the best for you? Uh, look, I want uh, active Bam Bam is a is a better Bam Bam. Uh, like I said, uh, <laughs> I'm lucky I got these old heads around me. You know, they keep me in line. If I go and do my own thing, I can I can just venture off. You know, so. It, I just, my main job is just to keep listening to them and uh, keep doing that. But, man, it, it, we got this weekend and, and whatever else after that. If this ends fast, if it doesn't end fast, I'm ready to go. I want to I I get a few in this year. I want to go to work. And the last me, I know you said you like the Apex shows, but you also love the crowd. You love the sort, you know, what they give to you. Are you bummed that this fight, since you're so ready now, are you bummed that you weren't able to fight at Miami? I would have been bummed if I couldn't get a fight. You know, uh, like I said, thankful to uh, Marcin. I messaged him and I said, you know, I appreciate you accepting to move it back. You know, that's, I never want to pull out of a fight. I'm never going to pull out of a fight. I just ask for some extra time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm, 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 we're good. We're good to go. Best of luck for Saturday. Thank you, brother.
Ty, man, I know that you've been interested in, you know, getting into professional wrestling at some point, man. And, you know, speaking about the health just now, I'm curious, would that be something you'd really want to, like, dive into full career-wise or, like, just do a couple <laughs> matches? Like, have you thought about that? Oh, look, I've always thought everyone wants to be a wrestler when they're a kid. And I, I went and watched it uh, not too long ago in Perth. And uh, amazing athletes, uh, you know, they're jumping off shit, like, they're running through stuff. It's crazy shit. So... It's something that I would love to do, of course. But right now, uh, my main my main focus is the UFC. Uh, I've got a few fights with the UFC. They've always been good to me, and uh, my job is to, to, to give them and the fans what they want. Is it cool for you to see kind of the combination now with the parent company, you know, owning UFC and WWE? So there's that connection there? Like, <laughs> Hey, I'll go to more if they take me. Oh, I don't care. I love it. It's cool. It's like uh, they were jumping off shit, running through cages. I just hopefully I don't hurt myself. <laughs> Knowing me, I'd probably break my neck the first jump. <laughs> oh, we don't need that, man. I mean, you've always been a very durable guy, though. I mean, in terms of the chin holding up uh, tie and, you know, getting into the slugfest, man. But I got to ask you, like, you fought so many great opponents, too. Some of the hardest hitters in heavyweight, aside from yourself. Like, is there a guy you'd say has been the hardest hitter specifically out of who you fought? Oh, yeah. Big Russia. Pavlovich, he hit hard. He hit really hard. And he hit me first. You know, this is a, a lot of heavyweights, we know, what, we know what the goal is. We know what we know what people are good at. We know what people are bad at. But we all know that one punch can end it. It's just first in, best dressed. That's, that's the rule. Yeah, man. And obviously, uh, Sergey was in the title scene recently with uh, Tom Aspinall and, you know, things are kind of messy up there. I just got to get your thoughts on kind of the top of the division and what's playing out, what you uh, think should happen. Yeah, well, I was watching that and I was thinking, fuck, only if I hit him. <laughs> but I did it. That's the sport. You either do or you don't and I didn't. He got me first and fuck, I felt it. And I was there just getting, <laughs> I was just there eating the Russian sandwiches. <laughs> and do you think Aspinall should go ahead and fight Jones next, or are you interested in Jones Stipe? You know, it's kind of the... I think, I think uh, like, like I said, I'm not a big watcher, but I would like to watch the big things. I think that'll be a perfect fight. Uh, I think, uh, no disrespect, but um, what's his name's finished? Stipe? Stipe's, like, I don't know. Is he still going? He wants to. <laughs> oh, oh, he wants to fight? Oh, well, let him fight. Stipe's the best heavyweight of all time. No, hands down. You can never not tell. Well, if he wants, to, I did. I thought he didn't want to fight. I don't know. I don't like. I said I don't watch this shit enough, man. He wants the Jones <laughs> fight. That's the one. Yeah. He wants. I just like fighting. I don't like watching. <laughs> right, fair enough, man. We like watching you fight. So best of luck, Ty. <laughs> Why don't you like watching? Is it too like? Is it one of those things where like if you're watching it, you want to be doing it? Yeah, yeah but it's it, uh, like I I watch if it's my if I know them. Like, if it's my friend, I'll watch. But other than that, I don't like... Um, I've never really been... I don't, I don't watch really anything. Yeah. No, I don't watch TV at all either. No rugby? No anything? I'll watch the Penrith Panthers. Like, I'll watch something that I have... Some, like, uh, I know. But other than that, I don't really... Uh, it doesn't interest me. Like, uh, I, I I don't really find watching boys roll around cuddling each other and shit. I don't defy. <laughs> that's not really. I'm not into that. <laughs> Some people are, but it's just not my thing. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.